13,034,431 experience. That is how much is needed in order to get level 99 in any skill in this game. Today, we have unlocked 99 fire making through multiple hours of doing winter tide and grinding these skills. And today, we're finally free. Let's go ahead and grab that skill cape and check out what else this game has to offer. Welcome to the All Capes Iron Man. All right, let's go ahead and start looking at everything so I can do room crafting training. I have no idea how much these books give me, so I just gotta get it to like 20% favor at least, and then just see where see where I need to go from there. I could honestly knock out the 90% favor. It wouldn't be a bad idea. Gotta get this book over here and just go back and forth. Oh, I'm at 20%. Nice. So I think, yeah, I think I may as well just go all the way up to 90. It's super fast doing this way. And then that way all I need to do is just the Ascent of Arceus and then I have Max Arceus favor. All right, last book. Come on, please. Ah, of course, it's the one that I don't have in my inventory. But the good part is, is that literally all these other books are useless. This is the last book I need and then I'm done. Gimme, gimme, gimme. All right. And let's get all of this done. That actually give me a root crafting level? It did, level 15, let's go. Dang, we're almost level 16 as well. That was a uh, very, very good use of our time. So now we're at 90 Arceus favor. We will finish that later. But for right now, it is time for us to go do Guardians of the Rift. All right, where's this wizard man that I need to talk to? There they are. Wizard Purston. All right, Temple of the Eye, let's go. The Abyss is going to make me a little bit nervous. I th I'm just going to have to hope that I get a way in that's not going to kill me. I'm going to have to bring in some good food. Oh, I can teleport straight to the Abyss from here. Okay, yeah, let's do it. Okay, I was hoping that it took me here. Oh, well, I didn't even have, uh, I didn't have my prayer drained. That's nice. All right, so death energy first. Death, then nature. Okay, nice. Death, nature, fire was not it. Let's do death, nature, law. Nice, and earth. Nice, 50-50 shot. Hey, let's go. That was pretty easy. All right, Purston, here's the amulet. Yep, let's go ahead and teleport to Wizard's Tower. I mean, if it's offering me to teleport everywhere, then I may as well, right? I think I know what a thing you want is. 11. Okay, and now we go down to Cedridor and do the Guardians of the Rift tutorial. I love the design of this place. Just the undersea temple. Ah, oh, it's so cool. You've never done Guardians of the Rift? It's all right. It's very relaxed. There's really not a whole lot to it other than just like mine and craft runes. Then again, I also am not fully, I'm not fully uh, in tune with that yet. I say in tune with that. I haven't done much Guardians of the Freaked. I've probably only done like four or five hours of it. So I'm not super familiar with how it works. Time to begin the tutorial. I want to get one of these pets. These pets are super cool. We're going to take a weak cell. We're going to come over here. Talk to Tamara and build a shield. Okay, now we talk to Felix. That bumped my runecrafting level up? Interesting. Okay. I mean, I won't complain. It's just unexpected. <laughs> All right, and that should be the end of the tutorial. Easy peasy. I actually play this in the mass world is very different. Oh yeah, I know. The biggest trick is just getting in. <laughs> okay, awesome. Got my medium pouch and got level 28 rune crafting. That should be enough for this. I wonder how quickly I'll be able to get the full outfit. 
I also like how everybody's in all like graceful or they're in their guardian's outfit. I'm just over here in a frogman set <laughs> suit. I'm in peak fashion scape right now. Let me in. Let me in. Come on. Come on. It's right there. I'm spam clicking the entrance. Please let me. Please. I'm begging you. This is one thing I don't like about Guardians of the Rift versus something like Winter Tot. Is that Winter Tot, you could just hop right into the kill, mid kill, and just work on it. Uh, but for Guardians of the Rift, you have to actually sit and wait. I forgot to grab my cells. I think I only need like five. And begin mining. Okay, so that part... Wait, I need 56 agility to go down there? Oh. Well then. That's a... Uh, that's a requirement I didn't know about. Looks like I am stuck here. Huh. Okay, yeah. So, uh... I'm really gonna need a lot more than just 29 room crafting to do this. This requires a lot more uh, things than I expected. Man, I just don't have... I don't have a way to get down to those. <laughs> that's kind of that's kind of bad. Okay. We're just going to work at the workbench and just do what we can here. Oh, wait. He already died, did he? Okay. Well, that's fun. This is painfully slow. Definitely not worth it. Yeah, this is the only kill I'm doing. <laughs> it's just not, not good enough. I mean, it's kind of funny seeing it done at this low of a level, but yeah, this is definitely not worth. I am in need of some very significant upgrades in order for this to start be worth it. NPC contact, I feel like, is not like the biggest deal. It is important, but with the change that's happening, I don't think it's going to be that significant. But the agility level, the mining level, yeah, I I need to get that figured out. So that was a bust. That absolutely is awful at this level. They're totally not worth it. So, um, yeah. We're gonna go ahead and try out Temporos for a bit and just see how Temporos goes, because I feel like that that's gonna go a lot better. Okay, now let's go ahead and swap to a Temporos world. Uh, Temporos. Okay, yeah. The big mass world, I feel like, is gonna be the best bet. I shouldn't need a harpoon. I think I should just be able to go straight to this fishing spot and start. I need level 55 fishing. Okay. All right. Well, that kind of threw a wrench in that. Is there a harpoon up here? Please God tell me there is. Okay, good. Well, that's unfortunate. That was not in the fine text. Or I think it was. I just refused to read it. Guardians of Rift didn't seem possible at all, but this one actually seems pretty doable. Uh, actually, yeah. We'll, we'll try out the cooking method. See how that one goes. How many reward permits do I get? I got two permits from that. Yeah, let's try the let's try the actual cooking method. I mean, I got double the points than what I got before. So, yeah, I got five permits out of that. I think we definitely found the method. Just gotta do it better. Man, we are taking out winter or er, temperos really, really fast. Okay, we can go ahead and move away from this now. We almost just one shot. We almost just one down Temporos. That was going to be real bad for me. Okay. I wonder if I could do solo Temporos with as low level as I am. I mean, I guess I could try it. Wouldn't hurt. All right, let's go refresh the cat and try the solo method. Oh, the wave. The wave is bad. Hammer repair. Tether. Oh, I didn't get it in time. Okay, I am going to forfeit. I'm liking the I'm liking the uh, cape collection. It's looking real good right now. What's the X out of Y on capes collected? Let's find out how many capes there are really quick. Um. Okay, so that. So far, the count's at 143, and I'm not even close to done yet. Okay, yeah, they're probably going to be like 180 capes. I think that's what it ends up being. I'll have to actually count and give a good count, but it's, uh, out of 180 capes, I have 12. 
Oh, it's gonna take so long. This account's gonna take forever to complete. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of the point, but still, yikes. Once I actually quantify it, it actually sounds a lot worse. <laughs> I'm not even 10% of the way there. Okay, yeah. Solo Temporos is much, much more manageable than Mass World, because I have a lot more control over the way the, f the kill goes. That's a little bit of a longer kill, but I think that works to my benefit. Okay, and I should just be able to kill Temporos in one go here. If not, the amount of fish that I'm putting in here should immediately down him again. Yep, I should be okay if he comes up here. Yep, that should just immediately take him down. I hope so. Oh, please. No, really? Oh, I had to fill up the other bin. Okay, I see what I did wrong there. Okay, okay, I know what I did wrong there. That's all right. I need more buckets. Yep, so this should now tear him down super fast. Oh yeah. Yeah, that, that worked a lot better than the last round. That worked significantly better. All right, and there we go. That is one Temporos killed by myself with no help. First try, you know? <laughs> All right, we got nine permits out of that. We've done our hour of Temporos. I am going to go ahead and search the reward pool and see what kind of goodies we get. Spirit flakes are fantastic. Spirit flakes are always good. Spirit flakes are actually insanely important. Um, but right now, what I am actually looking for, what would be really, really helpful right now, is going to be uh, the fish barrel. The Tomo water would be nice, but not necessary. Uh, the tackle box, again, would be nice, but not necessary. Big harpoon fish is basically worthless. Um, yeah, spirit flakes are really like the big, big thing that I'm looking for. That should be the last one. Okay, so 18 lobster, we got mackerel, we got tuna, we got pike. Actually, I think the mackerel might be important for a quest. We also got steel nails. This is actually really nice for construction. I am going to take a really quick break and then we will be on to the winter talk grind. So uh, I'll be back soon. All right, we're back and we're just gonna be doing winter talk for the next hour until stream ends, so. Not too much going on. Just gonna be a nice chill rest of the night. Okay, so we've done one trip of Temporos done. Um, they're not Temporos, Winter Tot. Let's go ahead and open the crates and see what we wanna do for the rest of the stream. Okay. So far, nothing good. Oh, I got a second Pyromancer garb, that's funny. Not really the most useful, but hey, I have a dupe. I'm actually pretty sure I can trade these in for warm pages, right? Uh, oh, I could trade it for an extra crate? Oh. Oh, hey, it had Ranars. Okay, that was worthwhile. Ranars are a bit more important to me right now than burn pages, so I am okay with that. I didn't know that was a thing. We just have a little bit of time left to go until we have level 99 fire making. We are only 50k XP away, so we are super, super close to it. Welcome, welcome, Antry. Uh, we are super, super close to getting 99 fire making, so uh, we're going to go ahead and get started right away. Also, I have the HD plugin on right now because I figured, why not? This will be pretty hype to have it on while I finish out the skill. So, I think we have two games left until we hit the 99. 
And then we're going to go get the fire cape, open up all the crates. And then I did a little bit of Temporos as well after I got to this point in fire making. So we'll fish up the Temporos rewards and then start doing some beginner clues. It'll be a shorter stream tonight. I'm not feeling super well. I'm a little under the weather, um, but it'll still be a fun stream. How do I have the skill cape on? There is... Ah! Thank you for letting me know about that. I was using the uh, Fashionscape plugin a little bit earlier to uh, create the thumbnail for the video. Thank you for calling that out. I would have completely forgotten. <laughs> yeah, I just have the Arty Cloak on. Not quite yet at 99. My movie magic failed me. I'm exposed. No! <laughs> So yeah, the second episode of the series came out on Saturday. I will be posting a link to it at the end of stream, but I, well, once again, I am extremely humbled by the response. I did not expect, uh, I did not expect that people would like it nearly as much as they did. And so I'm very, very pleasantly surprised and very, very happy with, uh, with how this series is turning out so far. The streams will be ahead of the videos for a while and that's by design. But, um, hopefully at a certain point they will end up catching up to each other. I just have to make sure I have some backup content for the longer grinds, but we'll see. And there it is! Level 99 fire making. We are done. We are officially done with Winter Tot. We never have to go back through these doors ever again. Let's go get the cape! All right, everyone is here. Let's go ahead and get the cape. Can I buy a skill cape of fire making? This is the easiest cape of the game to get. That seems reasonable. All right. Boom. The first skill cape on the account. First skill cape on the hardcore. Oh my God, I'm so happy. Boom, there we go. Got the emote and everything. <laughs> All right. Yeah, this is exciting. Now to now to head over to uh now to head over to the bank and open the crates. So, let's see how this goes. So first thing I want to do actually is uh, I want to get a placeholder in the bank. There we go. First skill cape achieved. Um, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine times eight. We have 72 crates to open. So we're going to do them 10 at a time. Not expecting much, so we'll see what we get. Pet and Dragon Axe would be the best. Those are the only things we're missing. Hey, we got another Magic Seed. That's pretty cool. Another Magic Seed. Let's go. We got two Magic Seeds in the last crate pulls. More Burnt Pages. I'll never say no to that. Okay, nothing great here either. <laughs> All these last crates have been real bad, except for those burnt pages and the magic seeds. Those are the only redeeming factors about these crates so far. The mahogany seeds and are nice. Same with the earrits. Okay. Still not a whole lot. Let's go for another 10 here. More burnt pages. Let's go. More magic logs. <laughs> okay. Nothing great there. And let's go for... Oh, I have Swordfish now. Okay. We're going to plop that in here. Banana Seeds are also plopping here. Get rid of the tab. Nothing yet. All right. Final crate. No uniques. The cape is cool. Cape is very cool. 
That's also not the uh, last thing that we're doing in terms of unique opening. I, I did a little bit of Temporos uh, after setting up for today. So I'm going to head over to Temporos real quick. And we're going to take a look at that reward pool and see what we can get from there. And then after that, it's uh, time for the beginner clue grind. I no longer have to worry about... Uh, I no longer have to worry about an HP limit. I can level that up to whatever I want. Also, let's see what's going on in chat. Uh, okay, we're good. I didn't miss anything. I <laughs> just wanted to make sure. Oh, that's, it feels so good having a skill cape on the account right now. The fact that I was able to survive Winter Tot on a hardcore makes me feel pretty accomplished, in all honesty. <laughs> I absolutely died to Winter Tot a few times on uh, my first attempt at the Iron. So, uh, a zero death Winter Tot is, is something I'm pretty, pretty proud of, in all honesty. Tephros pet 13th pull to make up for no fine burp from Tot. We'll see, we'll see. I'm still running off the beaver luck. I got, I got a beaver at like 40 wood cutting on teaks earlier in the account. So I think my pet lunk might be a little bit tapped for a bit, but we'll see. If I could get the Temporos pet, that'd be pretty cool. That's that's an awesome pet. All right, how many reward pool rolls do I have right now? 37 rewards, so not too many. I wasn't able to do much today, but uh, let's see what I get from it. Any unique is good. We only have Spirit Flakes so far, so any unique from Temporos would be nice. The best thing that I'm really looking for would be Spirit Flakes and, ooh, Casket. There we go. Caskets are really nice. Um, and I'm also looking for the Fish Barrel. The Fish Barrel is really the big, big thing that I want from Temporos. Yeah, nothing there. Let's go ahead and actually check the collection log, because I'm pretty sure that shows you the reward permits as well. Temporos is 61 reward permits, 9 kills, and all we've gotten so far is Spirit Flakes. That's a good chunk, though. That That's a lot of anglers right there. So I'm not too not upset about that at all. Oh, let's go ahead and open up the caskets. Let's see what we get here. Ruby necklaces. Yes, we could start birdhouse runs. Oh, man, that was huge. That's so big for the account. Wait, no, we can't start them yet. I don't have the magic level. We'll train magic and then we'll do birdhouse runs. That's huge though. Same thing with the little rings of life here. That, that'll that be good to have just ready. I'm not sure when I'll use them, but it will be good to just have on standby at least. <laughs> By the way, in the video, I am going to be including a screenshot of my loot tracker in uh, Runelight. So that way, Y'all can see what exactly I got from the kills that were logged at Temporos. Or not Temporos, Winter Tot. For some reason, there are a couple of kills that did not get logged. Like my Sec of Tome of Fire did not get logged. But it'll at least be a good chunk of it. This account looks like a titan. Uh, let's grab the Chronicle as well. And then I think I'm actually going to want to bring all my elemental runes and the law runes that I have. These are going to have to be used very sparingly, but I am going to try and do clues as I get them. Wait, I have an easy clue banked. Have I not done this yet? Emerald ring, sapphire amulet, uh, bronze chain body at the fishing guild. Hmm. Well, can I make all of that is the question. Emerald rings. No, I can make emerald rings. Oh, I can make this. Do I have enough gold bars? The bronze chain body, I'm pretty sure I can just buy. Uh, okay. I have three gold bars. Uh, yeah, I should be able to manage this. Do I plan on grinding graceful soon? Yes, that is an offline grind. I actually got 40 agility today. That is underway. We're about 30 marks of grace in right now. Yep. Casket? Please? Hey, let's go. Is this the first uh, easy clue? I don't think it is. I think this is the second one. Oh, actually, maybe this might be the only 
easy clue. Let's check really quick. Clues, easy treasure trails. Okay, yeah, so I have completed one so far. Here is the second easy clue on the account. Oh my god, a Guthix robe top? <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's really good. <laughs> that's awesome. Oh, I have to have 20 prayer for it. Even still, like, that's really good magic armor. Holy crap. <laughs> okay. Okay, we'll, we'll take those. We'll take those. I need to get my prayer up now. <laughs> uh, studded chaps. Yeah, we'll also keep those. That is technically best of slot range armor for me right now. <laughs> okay. Well, that was very unexpected. All right. Let's go ahead, tag all goblins. Uh, love seeing just the field of blue squares. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and uh, start the killing spree. Can you get dupe clues? You cannot. If you have a clue scroll in the bank, you cannot get a second clue scroll of the same tier. You can get a clue scroll of a different difficulty tier, but just not the same tier. And speaking of which, that actually reminds me, I did not check to see whether or not I already had a beginner clue. Uh, I'm pretty sure I didn't, but I should probably check before I waste more runes. I already had a beginner clue. I am a fool. Okay. Uh, that is Falador. Hey, beginner clue, Grasket. All right, let's see what we get. Beginner clue number five on the account and the first one of the night. We get a staff of air. <laughs> oh boy. Oh wait, that's a beginner clue. Okay, awesome. That was really quick to get the second one. Uh, all right, back to Varrock. We're gonna run there. Actually, no, wait, we're gonna Chronicle Teleport there. Chronicle Teleports, I'm a little bit more inclined to use freely just because they're much more easily replaced it's just the law runes the law runes are what i'm scared of youtube live with the series and not twitch right yes i uh i i think it's pretty safe to say right now that i'm not going to be returning to twitch unless there are some pretty significant changes that happen on both youtube and twitch as platform changes um so unless they start doing some crazy stuff there that makes it really hard not to stream on Twitch, then yeah, expect all content for this to be either streamed on YouTube or the videos to be posted on YouTube. It's playing Minecraft right now. Nice. There is also a full playlist as well of, uh, of all the past live streams for this account. This account so far has been entirely streamed on, on uh, YouTube. So there is a playlist with all the VODs if you want to get caught up with the with the nitty gritty details of how this account has progressed. The VODs will always be just a little bit ahead of the uh, of the actual video series. Anyway, uh, another casket. Let's open it. Staff of Water. I mean, I'll keep that. The other stuff I don't particularly care for. Okay, I did not get two beginner clues. Uh, talk to Charlie. Okay. First Charlie step. Let's see what he wants. Hey, casket. Let's go. Let's see if the RuneScape tunes allow for this. You like idea for the RuneScape music better? I didn't see what it was. <laughs> okay, and... Why is... Why is there a fanfare for this? <laughs> Why was there a fanfare? Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, back to goblins, I guess. <laughs> Alright, so we've completed seven beginner clues. Ooh, an easy clue. I did not know goblins dropped easy clues. We're gonna keep going until we get a beginner clue, but uh, we'll see. We'll s Actually, let's see if we can even do this beginner clue. Or easy clue, I mean. Search of drawers in the house that supports our mage shop. Well, that is a doable step, so we'll go ahead and keep that going. We need to get four capes from the easy clue tier, so, or from the easy clue uh, drop table. So it is definitely worth it picking those up as we get them. 
A little too far down south. Hey, let's go. There's another clue. Did it drop a second one? He did not. So we're not juggling clues today. Brian! Give me a casket. All right, let's check it out. Let's do the beginner casket first. Uh, nature runes. I mean, I'll take that. And easy casket. All right. Back to killing goblins. Oh, there we go. We'll check in next time we hit the bank. Uh, talk to Charlie. Oh, boy. Um, oh, we got a casket. Let's go ahead and open that up. Um, all right. Next casket. This is casket number nine. All right. Well, we got some, got some air runes. Or earth runes, I mean. You fell asleep doing an agility course? Yeah, that sounds about right. Also, hey, this is the 10th beginner clue. All right, cool. We're going straight up to Barbarian Village. That's actually not too far away. All right, we've gotten the final casket of the night. Let's see what we get. <laughs> All right. 